In a quaint village nestled between the rolling hills, there lived a young boy named Kael. Kael had always been drawn to the art of archery, spending hours each day practicing his aim and perfecting his technique. He dreamed of becoming the finest archer the village had ever seen. But he faced a constant struggle. He lacked self-discipline. Every morning, Kael would wake up with the sun's first rays and head to the training grounds. His bow in hand, he would shoot arrows at distant targets. His enthusiasm carrying him through the early hours. However, as the day wore on, his focus began to waver. He would skip meals to squeeze in more practice time. And the quality of his shots suffered. By evening, he was often too exhausted to hold the bow steady. Kale's father, a wise and experienced archer, noticed his son's predicament. One evening, as Kale was leaving the training grounds with slumped shoulders, his father approached him. Kale, my son, he began. I see your dedication. But true mastery lies not only in enthusiasm but in self-discipline as well. Kael looked at his father with a mix of confusion and curiosity. What do you mean, father? Quote. His father smiled and gestured toward the setting sun. Imagine an archer who chases his arrows all day. Constantly releasing them in a frenzy without aiming properly. His arrows would scatter without purpose. And he would never hit his mark. It is the archer who remains steadfast. Who takes the time to aim. And who practices with patience that eventually becomes the skilled marksman. Kael pondered his father's words that night and realized the truth behind them. The next morning, he set out with a new determination. He divided his practice into focused sessions. Each with a specific goal. He practiced his stance, his grip, his breathing, and his release, dedicating time to perfecting each aspect. When he felt the urge to shoot recklessly, he reminded himself of his father's analogy. The archer who chases his arrows would never succeed. Days turned into weeks, and Kale's progress was evident. His shots grew more accurate. And he found himself hitting the center of the target more often than not. Yet, challenges still arose. On a particularly hot day, beads of sweat trickled down his forehead as he struggled to maintain his concentration. He longed to rest in the shade. But he remembered his father's lesson on self-discipline. With renewed determination, Kael continued to practice. Sweat soaked but unyielding. As time passed, the villagers began to notice his improvement. His shots were now consistent, hitting their mark with precision. Kale's self-discipline had transformed him from an eager but inconsistent archer into a true master of his craft. One evening, the village hosted an archery competition to celebrate the harvest season. Archers from neighboring villages arrived, their reputations preceding them. Kael stood among them, humble yet quietly confident. As the competition commenced, the air filled with tension and excitement. One by one, the archers took their shots, their arrows landing in varying degrees of accuracy. When it was Kael's turn, he stepped forward with unwavering composure. He drew his bow, his muscles moving smoothly as he aimed at the distant target. Time seemed to slow as he released the arrow, which sailed gracefully through the air and struck the center of the target with a resounding thud. A collective gasp swept through the crowd as Gale's shot proved to be flawless. The other archers exchanged astonished glances, recognizing the newfound skill that radiated from him. Gale's disciplined approach had transformed him into a true archery virtuoso. As the competition concluded, Kael was declared the winner, much to the amazement of all present. Yet, as he stood on the podium to receive his prize, he knew that the true victory lay not in the accolade itself, but in the journey he had undertaken. He had learned the invaluable lesson of self-discipline, and that, more than any trophy, was his greatest reward. And so, 
The story of Kael, the unwavering archer, spread throughout the region. A tale of dedication, patience, and the remarkable transformation that can occur when one embraces the power of self-discipline.